Welcome everyone to Ready, Set, Soul. I am your host, Brian Vogt. Happy Saturday. Hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend and is, is gearing up for the next week and making that a fantastic week also. If you've listened to the show, you know we normally start off with ACDC and that's kind of a, a, one of the favorite uh, rock groups that, I, that I've had over the years. But this time we started with uh, going to the chapel. And the reason for that is that my son got married this Friday uh, to his lovely wife, Kathy. Uh, both great people, love them to death. Uh, they're fantastic, and they had a fantastic wedding. My granddaughter was involved with it, and it went out without a hitch. They got married in the afternoon, and the reception was at night, and everyone had a great time. Also on Thursday, Thursday we went out golfing uh, with the kind of the wedding party, the, the the groomsmen, shall we say, and there was eight of us, and we we had a great time. But I just I killed them, I just destroyed them, I, I wiped them off the face of the earth. Uh, that just my abilities. Now, if you don't know this, in in truth and advertising, shall we say, uh, I record this on a Wednesday, and it airs on a Saturday. So my first first comment about the wedding I, is all true. I have no doubt that, that, that the wedding went off and is going to go off without a hitch. The golfing thing, that's kind of my story, okay? And I'm, and I'm pretty happy with that. And since I'm the one that has a radio program, uh, the people there golfing probably aren't going to be able to dispute it very well. So anyway, uh, but again, congratulations to Josh and Kathy. Um, so happy for you. And uh looking to have a, even a, a richer life than you do now. With that said, can I take you back a little bit? My gosh, it's been over now, my gosh, three months, four months, I'm not really sure. Uh, Joey, Joey's my uh, producer here. I mean, I think it's been something, we're on our fourth month, uh, I'll put it that way, if I remember right. From once we started, I think we started at the end of May and now we're into, my goodness, October, the first week of October. Uh, so the, the show, and I, I get this asked all the time, and just this week someone said, well, how did you get on radio? Uh, how did you start to, you know, the idea of having a radio program dedicated for, for sellers to helping them getting their houses sold? And it started really beginning of all the way back in really the end of last year beginning of this year is when I wrote the book uh, literally I wrote the book Ready Set Sold 12 Proven Steps to Sell Your House Fast and for Top Dollar in the St. Louis Metro East it became a number one bestseller um, 1260 the answer or should I say 1260 and 95 won the answer uh, is uh, contacted me and they said hey how about doing a a radio program on a weekly radio program about your book and so you can let people know about what it's going to need or what it's going to take to get their house sold not only sold not just sold but to get top dollar and a fast sale because that's by far uh, is what most sellers want i've been doing this now going on close to two decades uh have a successful team uh, by the way, we're always looking for people to add to the team. Uh, the mark conditions have been fantastic. We haven't seen mark conditions like this for this long of a period of time uh, in years. And let me repeat that, in years. So it's it's a fantastic time to get into real estate. Uh, we, we train people. We get them up and moving. And it can be an exciting, fun time uh, to be not on the team but also to be in real estate. As I mentioned, uh, one the other question I get is, is you know, not only the radio station, but why did I write the book? And as I kind of alluded to, is the length of time I've been in, and we've had some tremendous success. We've been blessed with some tremendous success of helping sellers getting top dollar and fast sale. And I decided to put it all into one book because there is so much information out there, and much of it is geared mostly for the East Coast, the West Coast. I mean, there is probably, I don't know, 50 how to sell your house uh, shows on cable. And they always seem to go on the East Coast, the West Coast. And, and those are different markets. They just simply are for various different reasons, culturally, price points, all kinds of different things. But there was nothing really geared for the Metro East and, and the Shiloh and the O'Fallon, Belleville, uh, Mascuda, 
near Sky Air Force Base, all those areas that didn't have, you know, any way to, to, to know what to do. The sellers didn't know what to do. And the sellers were making some decisions they thought were right because they saw it on the TV program, but finding out it was costing them five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand uh, dollars $20,000, things that they didn't need to do, upgrades they didn't have to do, and they wasn't going to be a return on investment. And then the double whammy of things that they needed to do uh, was another cost they had to add on to. So it could l- let it into some very bad situations. So that's why I wrote the book, uh, to make it very simple, easy uh, to understand that these are proven. And let me repeat this. this is, these are proven steps, 12 proven steps that you, you, you use, and you're going to have some success that you, you probably can't believe. So one of the things I'm offering here on the radio program is to get the book free. Uh, absolutely no strings attached. Again, this is a fantastic time to be putting your house in the market. The market hasn't been like this for for many years. But if you're even thinking about maybe down the road, maybe you have a friend, just so you know, as I said, there's no strings attached. There's nothing you have to do to sign up with us. If there's somebody else that you have, that you have a trusted person in real estate, please use them. Uh, but use the book as a uh, uh, as maybe an outline of, of how you can have even more success. All you need to do is go to readysetsold.org, not .com, readysetsold.org, not .com. Get your free book. Put some information in. We will send it directly to your door um once you fill out the information also like us on facebook we really appreciate that we we're on facebook ready set sold with brian vote we really would appreciate that and also really excited sometimes people don't get to listen on a saturday morning they just have things going on and i get that um but uh if you missed any parts of the program you can always go back to uh, a podcast, and we have those on iTunes, our Google Play, and you can find us. You can do a very quick search and find out specifically if maybe there's just one section you missed, or maybe you want to listen to the whole program. Uh, whatever you want to do, it's just a great way of just getting the information out so people can really you know, can really have success. I mean, this is your biggest asset for most people, and you want to get this right. And this is the information that I'm wanting to get out to people. I'm just passionate about real estate. I love seeing people succeed, and especially sellers, uh, you know, getting that closing table with a smile on their face. And, and they got through it. Not only they got through it, but they, you know, quite frankly, maybe even had an enjoyable time through the process since they kind of knew what to expect and knew what to do to, to get things going. With that said, today we're going to be talking about negotiations and why it's so important to be in a win-win situation when you're when it comes to selling your home in fact win wins um no there's nothing else i mean quite frankly win loses um that means somebody's going to lose and that usually means that this deal isn't going to go through the way it should and what i mean by that is that when somebody feels that they have the hammer and this could be the seller it could be the buyer either way that uh, that hammer comes down and more times than not uh, you can have not only you know, a very rough, rough 30 days, 45 days that, you know, most buyers and sellers don't want to go through. Or you have the situation of somebody just not not playing along and uh, on, on occasion, buyers just walking away and saying, look, I'm not going to buy your home. I mean, within contract, meaning as they agreed to the agreement, but they said that, look, you're just too difficult to work with. So it doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. Here's the great news. And the great news about uh, negotiating and this win-win strategy, that's what most people want. I mean, with anything, not just with real estate, but just uh, that's how people want to be treated. And understanding that a buyer is, in many ways, giving you the sell the ultimate compliment. You know, they they love what you've done. They've loved the updating. They love the colors. They love the location. They the school district. Everything is matching, and they see what you have, and they want to put an offer in to try and get what you have. So again, many times we hear, or I should say, the stories we usually hear is that when there is more confrontation, unfortunately, sometimes that will come from a realtor. The the realtor is sometimes, dare I say, not always, but sometimes. They take on the hats as if they were lawyers for some reason, that we're, we're having a dispute and that, that, that their client has to win, whether it's the buyer or whether it's the seller. And that's just not the direction uh, that leads to really a, a win-win op- outcome, and that can lead to really more problems uh, than not. So that's a direction that you really want to go with the win-win. 
Hey, later on in the program, actually the next segment, I'm going to be talking with the Honorable Mayor Mark Eckert of the city of Belleville. And you're, I'm really excited about that. He's going to have some great information about the city of Belleville, why it's a great place to live there, but also just the things it has that maybe that uh, we just don't know. And that's one of the reasons we're trying to do a series now of the Metro East mayors of giving their input of, of some, fun, some fun things that we don't know. And uh, just so you know, I learn just as you will learn too. Every time I've done this, we've done other things in the past with, with city officials. And I'm always surprised to find what's going on. It's, it's, it's pretty cool stuff. Having said that, uh, don't forget about the book. Go to readysetsoul.org, not.com. Pick up the book uh, during the break. It's an easy thing to do. Hey, I can't wait to uh, talk to Mayor uh, Mark Eckert in the next segment. Please stay tuned. You're listening to Ready, Set, Sold with your host, Brian Vogt. 